dear women. Hello to everyone who are looking for a better understanding of themselves, seekers who are looking for something, for some who are lost, for some need encouragement, and so on and so on. Women of the Bible, the Bible study for Christian women. But I believe you are out there and also for you. You are loved with an everlasting love. This is your pastor, Nyati. We are in day three. And we're going to talk about, in the story of Rebecca, the new patriarch, I mean matriarch. And the scripture is Genesis 24, 62 to 67 and chapter 25. 19 to 28 so for those who are coming in just now the new matriarch Rebecca now Isaac had come from Beer Lahai Roy for he was living in the Negev he went out to the field one evening to meditate and as he looked up, he saw camels approaching. Rebecca also looked up and saw Isaac. She got down from her camel and asked the servant, who is that man in the field coming to meet us? He is my master, the servant answered. So. She took her veil and covered herself. Then the servant told Isaac all he had done. Isaac brought her into the tent of her, his mother, Sarah, and he married Rebekah. So she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. This is the account of the family line of Abraham's son Isaac. Abraham became the father of Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah's daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean from Padan Arami, and sister of Laban, the Aramean. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife, because she was childless. The Lord answered his prayer, and his wife Rebecca became pregnant. The babies jostled each other within her, and she said, Why is it happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two people, peoples from within you, will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the other will serve the younger. When the time came for her to give birth, there were twin boys in her womb. The first to come out was red and his whole body was like a hairy garment. So they named him Azal. After this, his brother came out with his hands grasping Azal's heel. So he was named Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when Rebekah gave birth to them. The boys grew up and Azal became 
a skillful hunter, a man of the open country, while Jacob was content to stay at home among the tents. Isaac, who had a taste for wild game, loved Esau, but Rebekah loved Jacob. The scripture describes the meeting of Isaac and Rebekah in a beautiful manner, with each seeing the other from afar and wondering, who is that? We witness Rebekah's modesty as she veils herself before she meets her future husband. Rebekah is put into the role of the female head of the family right away by giving her the matriarchal tent of his mother, Sarah. They marry. Isaac loves her, and Rebecca brings him comfort while he is still mourning the death of his mother, Sarah. The two have been married for about 20 years when Isaac prays for Rebecca to have children. Not knowing she has conceived twins, she asks God why she feels commotion in her womb. He gives her his prophecy about her babies. Her sons will become two nations and the older will serve the younger. Until now, Rebecca has seemed pretty perfect, strong in faith, modest, and a comfort to her husband. But one of the notable things we can learn from her and the other women of the Bible is that most of them are flawed. Just like us, their struggle can sometimes give way to their worst impulses, like we will see with Rebecca later in her story. It begins with choosing a favorite child. Now here are our reflections. What does it say about Rebecca? She goes God to ask what is going on in her pregnancy? How often do you turn to God when faced with something you don't understand? Isaac favors Esau because he loves eating game or gum. And Esau is a good hunter. Rebecca favors Jacob. This favoritism is going to lead to trouble. What do you think about parents having a favorite child? Is it ever okay? If you really study the family, Isaac and Rebecca, and Azo and Jacob, you will see how it becomes a huge problem. A problem of jealousy, of lies. A problem that Azo always felt second hand and never come to a very well agreement with his brother Jacob and so on and so on I urge you and encourage you if you have time to study this family
to love is not wrong. To make a choice in that love and in between what you have as kids or friends or May God give us the wisdom to deal with all this, to make a right decision, to make choices that will build up instead of making divisions. May God protect you and bless you, and may the peace of God be with you and stay with you, and may his light shine upon you. God bless. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye-bye.